Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.29 from Sadiku book. So the question is sketch the following functions. Okay, I will use those here, yeah, which, is, which is Desmos. But okay, now let's start from problem A. Let's convert this singular function notation into a piecewise function so we can get it more clear. So xt is equal to two case the one happens before one so t is less than one and the other happens at t is greater than one but for some reason let's just write it greater than or equal to one okay because we don't really care about what happens at one actually so t for t is less than one we will have zero here but then after 1, we will have 10 e to the minus t. Okay. That is two functions piecewise that we need to sketch. Okay, let's sketch it using Desmos. Okay, this is our Desmos. When x is less than 1, okay, we will have 0. that yeah but then when x is greater than equal to 1 we will have 10 e to the minus x there it looks like that right yeah minus what happens at 1 here so let's just get the sketch from here Okay, let's copy this and let's paste it into our slide. Okay, I think I need to crop this because it's too long. Yeah, this is our sketch for problem A. Okay, now let's let's just connect this one because I don't like uh, the discontinuity here but it's okay should be like that right so this is our sketch and the uh, x-axis is time okay and the uh, y-axis is x x of t and this is our function for problem a Okay, now let's move on to problem B. It's good actually, the graph. Okay, similar to what we done in problem A, we need to write, rewrite problem B into piecewise function. So we will have yt that will be 0 before t is equal to 0. So like this, and then this function here, then e to the minus t minus 1 when t is greater than 0. Okay, let's get our Desmos to work again. So now, now we will have x is less than 0. That will be 0. And then when x is greater than equal to 0, what can we get? I will have 10 e to the minus okay. Where's my Desmos? Okay. 10 e to the minus I think t minus 1 like this t minus 1 uh, that's not t that is x actually in Desmos okay And I think that is the sketch, right? Oh, this is not when it equals to one, or it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, okay, I think we got this. This is good, right? 
okay nah i think this this is perfect so let's print this cosmos here let's copy this and paste it here I think that's all good, right? The only thing missing was the line that connect zero to this this peak here. Yeah, but that is not really need to be drawn, but it's good to have. I think, yeah. So this is the t axis, and then for the y axis, I will have y y is here so this is for problem b okay now let's move on to problem c and let's clean up the board first okay accept this let's delete all and then we will have zd zd Okay, we have a direct delta function there so for t is not equal to one that all will be zero right so we will have t is not equal to one but when t is equal to one we will have cosine of four multiplied by one cosine of 4 right okay let maybe let's get back to desmos or i think we don't need to get back to desmos let's calculate cosine 4 there okay let's set this up as radian okay radian because we need to find out cosine of 4 right cosine of 4 that will be minus 0 0.653 okay so Zero minus zero minus zero six five four five four. Okay, so I think we don't need Desmos to draw this, so we will have it like this. This is T and this is Z. The only thing that happens is when T is equal to one. So we'll have one we will have the value of this function is minus 0 0.654 approximately so this is the function for question c and i think that's all for problem 7.29 thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye